All right, I seriously just lost everyone. I apologize for that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I am sorry for that bad <laughs> intro. Please excuse me. You guys know, like I was saying before, I accidentally shut you off that I um, am usually not this discombobulated. I'm really not. Uh, okay, it looks like I'm on the same video. Okay, all right, good. Let me just click into there so I can see what you're saying. Stuff happens, no biggie. Thank you, Lisa Marie. <laughs> we sure do know stuff happens in this online world, right? Don't worry, I'll, I'll get it together. I'll get it together. I will get it together. I was situated and then, I don't know, my phone just wasn't doing the correct thing and I'm talking like I'm lifting weights because I basically am here with my uh, heavy tripod, my boom stand. You guys know I use like my microphone stand from one of my guitar players. It's called a boom stand. It kind of goes like this. So when when you're singing in the microphone and holding a guitar. Anyway, that's what I use to hold my phone. <laughs> and yeah, we had a little we had a little hiccup there, but we're good. Now let me just get my ring lights back in place so everybody can see what the heck is going on. Okay, well, if you're just joining me, you guys, um, if you haven't if you haven't met me before, I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors. And what I do is I help artists gain collectors online uh, with auctions, shows, and parties. And uh, tonight we are doing a paint night. We are going to be creating a beautiful uh, painting of mine that uh, is titled Mystic Woods. Very, very cool. We use minimal supplies for paint night, right? So we're going to be using... This is what I think I'm going to be using anyway, is a detailed brush, a three-fourths inch flat angled brush, a bristle brush, any will do. You know, you guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. A uh, round brush and a one-inch flat. Anyway, I could change my mind because that's just how I roll, but... um. You guys use whatever you have, okay? Doesn't matter. Use whatever you have. Uh, let me see what you're saying. So Lisa Marie, <laughs> yeah. Lisa Marie, you know. So looks pretty good now. Uh, uh, are you painting with your arms around the boom stand? No, no. I, I'm i glad that it accidentally got shut off because now I'm not. Before I had to turn it and yeah, it was all bad. But my boom stands this way. You guys are this way, hanging from above. All right, so we went through our brushes. So I'm using just Apple Barrel uh, craft paints here. I got some black, red, brown. We got burnt umber, bright blue, nutmeg, which is a, another brown, and uh, a Christmas green. I know, it's not Christmas time. Uh, a yellow, just a bright yellow, white, and uh, my floating medium that I'm almost out of, and I keep telling you guys to yell at me because I need to place an order. But anyway, just using a foam plate here so that I, I like the dinner plates so that my paints don't run all over the place. And um, if you are not in my free group, Creative Dreams, well, why not? Get your butt in there because every time we do a paint night, you guys are welcome to share your paintings, which you do um, in Creative Dreams. So, you can tell me what your creative dreams are. You can share your paintings that you do with me. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Marcy. Thank you. Marcy's a creative warrior. Woo, woo. You guys ready to paint? Are uh, you ready to paint? Let me know. I'm going to just move over here on my laptop to get to my, to get to my good old, uh, <clears throat> what am I trying to say? I'm getting my reference, okay? Because... What I paint with you guys are actually paintings that I've already re uh, I've already created and that I've um, 
my collectors now own, okay? So I don't have this painting on hand. I'm just going to look at my reference photo because I take photos of all my paintings before I sell them. Uh, Deb says, what is floating medium? Um, I never knew what floating medium was, Deb, till like, I don't know, maybe seven years ago, and I've been painting my whole life. Floating medium is basically just a medium, which I know it gets confusing, right? Because painting, we're painting with acrylic medium, but this is called floating medium. Basically helps your paints um, flow a little smoother across your, um, well, if you're using multimedia paper, it will help with that or your canvas, either or, right? So basically it's sort of like paint, but it doesn't have any pigment in it. It is just clear. I don't even know if you can see that on my plate. It's just like a, I just put a gob of this in here. And I like to use this in place of water whenever I can, because with uh, acrylic paints, if you use the medium instead of water, it will keep your colors looking more vibrant. So hopefully I, un I explained that okay for you, Deb. Thanks for joining and being here. I appreciate that. Marcy, you're ready. You're ready. You're welcome, Deb. Okay. I'm ready, too. So let me take a drink of my water. Cheers to you guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Let me take a sip. Uh, let me know what you're drinking. You got some water, too? You got a coffee? You got some wine? What's happening? All right, let me get to my um, reference photo. All right, now, you guys know, all my peeps know, if you're new, um, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you being here. Oh, wait, you know what? Before we start, I'm just going to pin Creative Dreams Group for you if, if they'll let me do that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But if you are not in Creative Dreams, like I said, get your butt in there because that's my free group I have for you. You can find it right on the page, but I'm going to try right now to pin it for you. Um, just go ahead and request to join and I'll add you. Um, this is for um, you to, well, share your creative dreams with me and uh, everyone else who loves to paint with us, and also to um, share your paintings with me. Pin this comment. All right, so if you touch the video, we probably just saw it pop up anyway. You can go ahead and request and I'll put you in there. Um, Marcy's drinking ginger ale. Yeah, oh my God, I had some ginger ale earlier. Tim bought me Chinese food. It was so yummy. And we had some ginger ale. Okay, so once again, this is called Mystic Woods. Um, I am a fine artist, but we don't get into like really tight, detailed like paintings on paint night. They We do a painting from beginning to end all the way through. Um, it is, they all are gorgeous pieces and you are going to love this one. Um, but it is geared towards, you know, beginner, intermediate. Um, so no worries. And if you are, uh, very advanced with painting, good. I'm glad you're here. Jump in and get your hands creating with me. And then, um, you can put your own spin on it. Do whatever you want with it. I know Linda, uh, Arsenault has done that with a lot of my paintings and just made them her own. And oh my gosh, they look so good. Okay, let me see. Let's get some paint on our palette here. Um, when I get quiet, I'm just look, looking at my reference photo so I, I know what to teach you step by step. And also, if you comment and I don't com and I don't answer right back, it's just because I'm looking at my reference photo and concentrating on what to show you. But don't let that deter you away from the conversation here. Just jump in. I always go back and answer. All right, so let's put a little bit of blue on here. We're going to need some blue. Um, and I tell you guys, if you're new to just painting with me on Tuesday night, then just get the primary colors, blue, red, yellow, and uh, some black and white. And we'll just go from there. You can mix any colors with that. And um, I do have a video showing you how to do that, but... Uh, who knows where it is at the moment? I know it's on the page. It's on my blog. I also have it on YouTube. I have a big goober on this yellow, so that's why I had to move my arm out of the way. <laughs> that happens with acrylic paint sometimes. So yeah, we're just going to get the, we're going to get some primaries down here. Um, if you have tube paints, which I have as well, um, you, you know, you're welcome to use that if you want. Um, but you know, I'm just using the craft paints so we can just kind of 
have fun, and you can get creative with your cre creation, okay? Um, if you are a creative warrior, you, my creative warriors already know this, you are welcome to use my designs that we paint on Tuesday night to make money for your business. That's totally fine. That's why I love to do this and help you guys out. If you are not a creative warrior in my membership, that is fine too. You still can paint this and you can impress yourself and your friends and hang it up in your house or give it to a friend for their birthday or, you know, whatever you want to do. Or just be inspired and, and come up with your own design. doesn't matter, but you most certainly can walk through step by step with me. Okay, so yeah, we just got some basic colors down here. Let's see, I'm got some blue, some yellow. I need a little bit of black. We're gonna get just a tiny bit of black on here. And then I think this will be enough to do our background. So we will get ready doing that. It's gonna be an easy background, but it is gonna be gorgeous. Let me just check and see what you're saying and then we'll get right to starting our background. Okay, oh, let me see here, let me see. Kimberly, coffee for me. You know what, Kimberly? I literally, my husband just bought me a coffee, like, I don't know, an hour ago. And I went outside to feed our stray cat. And I came back in. And I hit the door with my coffee. It was an iced coffee. Are you drinking iced coffee, Kim? Kimberly? Um, but anyway, I had iced coffee. And I hit, hit it on the door. And, and the whole thing smashed on the floor. So I had two sips of it. So, oh, well. That's how today's rolling. All right, once again, um, if you're not sure, I know there's a little green in here. I've been painting all day. I got a jar with some water. It's all you need for acrylic paint and some uh, paper towel to wipe your brush on on the side. Some of you who are advanced painters are probably like, shut up, Amy. I totally get it. That's like, you don't have to tell me that. But you know what? I want to make sure I tell everybody everything <laughs> just in case, okay? Uh, no, just black hot. Oh, Kimberly, good for you. I mean, I've been, I've been trying to watch what I eat, you know, having a lot of creamer every day and my coffee's not good. And my mother also has hers black and I tried it and it's like, I can handle it once in a while, but I feel like I'm really like torturing myself when I do black. <laughs> All right. We are going to grab our flat brush and let's get ready to have some fun. I'm going to move back over here, and I'll check your comments intermittently. Okay. We are going to first do, 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 do. All right. We're going to first do some yellow, yellow and white. I'm going to just dunk this in here, load it up with my yellow and my white, stick the corner of my medium a little bit. If you don't have the medium, that's fine. Just put it in your water. Um, don't have it like dripping, but you know, have it, have it wet. And then we're going to start from one side of the canvas and go over, all right? We are just making just quickly, like we're not going to butter toast back and forth. Like I usually say, butter. we're going to go one way, one, one way like this. Okay. So just load that brush up with your yellow and a dab of white. Don't mix it all together. We don't want to make just like a just like a really light yellow, just have some of those paint colors just in there unmixed together, okay? And then swipe one way, all right? We're not going to go all the way across. We're going to go like kind of halfway, and then we're going to kind of make it go down like this. So this is kind of like the shape that it's going to be. So we just whip this right across here like that, and sort of like we're just like feathering it in there. If, uh, you know, you can't see or hear me okay, let me know. I'll do my best to adjust stuff. Sorry we had a little, um, you know, a little mishap in the beginning of this, and hopefully I didn't lose too many of you. <laughs> um, but, you know, tech things happen sometimes. And if that happens, well, you know, I'm always going to pop back on just like I did, okay? All right, so I'm not going to leave you hanging. We're going to finish our painting. All right, so yellow. Picking up a little bit of white, touching in my medium. And literally, you guys, we're just, just wiping, just laying and pulling, laying and pulling. And uh, if you go, you know, kind of fast like this, it's going to blend a little bit easier. Um, if you go slow, that's okay, too. But faster, the better. The faster, the better. 
then it will blend in there. Now, if you're using multimedia paper like me, um, this dries a lot faster than if you're painting on canvas. And I like to do a lot of wet on wet painting, so sometimes it makes it a little bit tricky, but you know, doing the best that we can here. Okay, so I just wiped my uh, brush back and forth across the paper towel to get some of that uh, paint off. Well, to get most of that paint off. I'm just dabbing it like this into the water. I don't want to hold it over here because knowing me, I dropped my coffee today. I'll probably drop my water right on my painting. So I am just dabbing, touching the bottom of the brush on the jar, getting that really clear, and then pull it back and forth like that on the paper towel. All right. Now we are going to mix up a little bit of blue and white, all right? Blue on one corner, we're still using the same brush, white on the other corner. Now we are going to, once again, um, go like pull this way. We don't wanna go back and forth right now, we just wanna pull one way, so we're gonna pull the opposite way. We're gonna go in front of I'm gonna dip a little bit into my medium. I'm gonna go in front of this yellow and pull it into the yellow. So in front of the yellow, pull it into the yellow and just whip it in there, whip it in there, people, okay? And then you can touch back into your water or your medium to just kind of blend this even a little bit more. See how that's blending a little bit right there? just so we can blend, blend. You can also, if you have too much paint on your brush, you can pull back and forth on your paper towel. You don't have to rinse it. Um, well, you do have to just dip it in the water or use your uh, medium. But after you pull it back and forth, don't submerge it. Just dip the tip of it in or pick up some medium and then just pull, 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 pull that one way. And then see what it's doing? It's, it's blending that right into the yellow. And you can see a tiny bit of the yellow being picked up in through here, and that's okay. We don't, we don't need to worry about that. Let me lift this up so I can kind of show you what's happening here. Let me show you what's happening. And I am going to check, see what you're saying, and then I will be... Uh, then we'll move on to the next step. Let me see what you have to say. Let me just give you a second so that you can um, catch up here and you let me know how you're doing. Hello, Linda. Thank you for being here, you creative warrior. Hello, Beth. Hello, sister. Um, and uh, there we go. That's all we have. That's okay. But I would love for you not to be a wallflower. If you are watching here, I know you're painting. You're trying to concentrate. You're probably like, Amy, are you serious? You think I can talk to you and paint at the same time? <laughs> so if you can't, I understand. But geez, if you can take a moment just to say hello, let me know where you're from or you know, when you take a break, it doesn't matter. Or after the painting, we can kind of go from there. All right, so let me move on over. Oh, and once again, if you're just joining, I did pin uh, the comment where you can get into the uh, creative dream so you can share your beautiful creation with me and uh, everyone else who paints and who who's in uh, creative dreams. I would love that. It's my free group that I have for you guys. Okay, so I'm using that same one-inch brush and I'm going to grab some blue, some blue, touch of black, blue and a touch of black. And then we are going to pull right from here over. And instead of going like, like making these blocks, do you see how I'm kind of making them like at an angle? It'll just give our, our painting a little more, um, interest you know and right now we are painting the background we are painting the sky um in the background then we're going to paint a beautiful mystic woods over that all right so just like we did with this blue we are just picking up um blue with a dab of black and we are just pulling touching our brush and pulling 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 now i'm always painting myself too so Touch down and pull. So you don't want to hold it straight up. Hold it at an angle like this and then pull. 
all right? And if it's not blending enough, then you need a little bit more water or you need to just uh, stick it in the medium if you have the medium. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just use the water. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okie dokie. And have fun. Have a good time. Don't beat yourself up. If it's not coming out exactly how you want it, do not freak out. This just It's just paint, okay? It's just paint, you guys. So you can, especially with acrylics, you can always go back and repaint over it. It's no biggie. No biggie. All right, so now I'm going to grab a little more black. A little more black and blue. And, you know, in my Mystic Woods picture, I have that kind of, um, let me think about something for, oh, I'm sorry, I'm like right in your way. Let me think about something for a second. Do I want to go with that color? Do I want to go like, I think we're going to go, I think we're going to go a little bit darker. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to touch in my black and I'm just going to grab a little darker blue than I had right here. Same thing, touch down and pull with that one inch flat brush if you don't have the exact things that i do it doesn't matter just use what you have it's totally fine you do not have to have all the supplies i have basically i'm using minimal supplies here by the way to do these tutorials um so super easy super easy touch down and pull right into there so we kind of want to get like different like layers going on here of uh colors and tones and things like that Let's see if I have enough of this color. I might have to get more. Oh, that's probably good. All right, now, 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 now. Um, oh, and another thing is, if I'm going too fast, you can let me know. I may or may not see a comment right now. But if I'm going too fast, just know that I keep the recordings right here on the page for you. I also put them right into that dreams, uh, right into that dreams. Yes, right into your dreams. I will will come into your dreams tonight to help you out. So I, I put the recordings right into Creative Dreams, the group that I have for you that I pinned right here in the comments. Um, so you can find them super easy. You can just go right in there and you can pause and paint, pause and paint. I know some of you message me and you're like, yeah, I just, I watched you do the painting and then I went back and paused and paint, like you said, and yeah, there you go. But of course, paint along if you want. That's totally fine. All right. I'm going to try and like blend this a little bit more in here by um, grabbing some white, still using the same brush, grabbing some white and just a tad bit of that blue gray color. Okay. And I'm going to kind of, oh, I'm. First of all, hopefully I don't fall over with my chair here. I'm going to I'm going to attempt to make uh, a few like uh, misty kind of clouds in here. So instead of holding the brush uh, this way, I'm going to kind of hold it this way on the chiseled edge and just kind of go back and forth. Now, um, and we're going to go like kind of right over these lines, not the whole thing, but just like a few spots, right? Just like a few spots. Doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just go ahead and dance it around the canvas and just kind of put some, some of these, um, you know, clouds in here like that. Uh, of course I was going to say something and I had a brain cramp, so now I can't remember, but you know, that's just, how I am. Oh, I, I, what I was going to tell you was, um, you know, every, every time you see, you know, one of my paintings and you can find everything that we're going to do, um, right in the events, right? Because I put them in there for you to see, so you can see what's coming up, but I do the, the paintings right here, um, on the page, but, um, yeah, another brain cramp. What was I going to tell you, you guys? Oh, okay. I know what I was going to say. Well, it they're not always the the reference photo that you saw. You might have seen Mystic Woods. Don't worry. It's going to come out awesome. But you might have, um, you know, you might have seen it and said, oh, my God, that's so awesome. I want to come in. I want to paint it. Well, just know that every time we do a painting, it's it's a, a new creation, right? So it's going to mimic 
what what the reference photo is that I showed you, but it's not going to look 100% all the time because everyone is a new creation. And that's why it's good for you just to kind of pick up some techniques and things that I'm doing so that you can create all of your own creations as well. Um, just dipping that um, one inch brush into my water, wiping that off. And I'm going to put a little bit of light blue down here, which is kind of the cloud color. I'm just taking that white with my one inch, grabbing a little bit of medium, or you can use water. And I'm going to hold it the fat way and just kind of throw this right across the bottom here like that, right up to the yellow. We're not going to go too far, but just like the blue part. And then uh, pick up a little more water or medium and just kind of bring it up just so we can kind of take some of that really deep, deep spot right out of there because we're going to put a beautiful peach color in here. All right. So I'm going to give you a second to catch up. I'm going to um, go back over here and see what you're saying. See what you're saying. Let you catch up for a second. And then we'll move on to put some beautiful uh peachy orangey peachy kind of colors in here and sometimes you know when we start a painting it's like oh that looks horrible that does not look good but <laughs> that's just how it rolls when you're painting sometimes it looks absolutely ridiculous and then it turns into something magical so let's see jennifer i'm using my son's account my name is not matt i am i am Jenny from outside of Rochester, New York. Well, hello, Jenny. And do you know that we see your name, Jennifer? So um, we don't see Matt. But if we do, we'll know that it's you. Okay, thanks for letting us know, honey. Um, Nancy, hello. I'm glad that you are here with us tonight. Yay. Are you painting, Nancy? Are you painting, Linda? Who's painting? Guys, let me know. Let me know who's painting. All right, now I'm going to go back to my reference photo here. And we are going to mix up a peach color. Well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of some of these nasty paper towels because when they start looking like this, you need to throw that out and get a new one. Okay. All right. Okay, dokie. Now my water is kind of yucky too, but just because I knew I was going to be here on paint night, I grabbed another jar. So I have another jar right here. So let me just pull that over and make sure that's rinsed out good because I don't want to make this peachy color all full of that blue that I had in my paint jar. So if you need to rinse yours out, go for it. And then we are going to mix up a peach. If you have a peach, that's great. You can just use it. Like, you guys, I have so many colors everywhere. If I turned around, I'd show you. But, well, you guys probably already know. Well, the ones that, you know, if you watch me, you see me in the studio. I've got a ton of stuff. But I'm trying to show you how to mix as well. So we're going to grab some more white. If you already have white on your palette, don't worry about it. Then just use that. And to make peach, we are going to use um, white, uh, yellow, and red. Okay. So I'm trying to think if I'm going to... I might actually need a little more yellow. <clears throat> I'm usually a heavy pourer, people. I don't know about you, but last week I did good. I kind of impressed myself. All right. We're still going to use this um, one-inch flat. And we are going to grab a dab of red, and then we're going to mix it into the yellow. We always want to mix the darker color into the lighter color. So now we have a beautiful orange, right? Now, look what happens if we add white to that. It makes a beautiful peachy color. All right, now you can, you don't have to mix it all the way if you don't want. Um, I don't know, I had a cat hair on there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I have some of the colors that are not all the way mixed, which is how I like to roll pretty much with my paintings because 
That way, you see the beautiful different colors kind of peek through as we're painting it. So we're going to go fast. We're going to go fast right across the bottom of here, underneath, and then bring it up into the sky, underneath, and then bring it up into the sky. If you need to mix more, once again, dab of red into yellow. Turn that around a couple of times, and then grab a little bit of white, and voila, you've got some peach, all right? Start from the bottom and then move up into the sky a little. This is still part of the sky. It's the very bottom of the sky, but yeah, it's okay. So we don't need to go down the whole way, but I'm just kind of, this, this time, instead of going one way, I am doing like I'm buttering toast back and forth like this, okay? Right across the bottom. So back and forth this way, then this way, and just kind of drag it back and forth. So we want to just get that beautiful peach color on there and bring it right up into, into these colors that we have going on with the sky. All right, so now, well, my medium's got some yellow, but whatever. I'm just going to pick some of that up and see what happens. Okay, there we go. So now I'm blending it a little bit with my medium. You most certainly can just use a little bit of water. If it's not blending correctly, um, the other tip is to do what we did with the clouds and just hold it this way and just kind of feather it right in. You can do that as well. Okay, so we just wanted some beautiful different uh, colors going on here. And we are going to throw one more color in the mix as well. I'm going to, oh, I do have a lot of white. I'm going to pick up a dab of red, just stick it in my white to make a pink, all right? And then I'm going to just kind of put a little bit of pink right in here, kind of right in the center area, just kind of feather that back and forth so we can have a pretty like pink color in there. And you use as little or as much as you want. It doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. This is your painting. It's your creating time. Make it make it how you want or just have fun. And uh, if you have questions, you can just put a picture in Creative Dreams and go ahead and ask me. Um, I know Deb had done that this week. And, oh, my gosh, her painting came out gorgeous. She's like, I'm not sure about this. I gave her a couple of ideas. And then she posted her painting again from last week. And, Deb, if you're watching... It looks spectacular. Good job. Good job. All right. So we got the peach. We got the pink. We got all those beautiful sky backgrounds in there. Let me see what you're saying. Let me throw my brush in the water. Then we are going to move on to some back mountains in here. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Don't forget to paint the love for me. You know what that means, right? You go like this and you paint the love, meaning if you know someone that would love to be here with you, like my sister Beth is, and she's in Georgia, and I'm here in New Hampshire, um, uh, that'd be great. Then we can all, you know, hang out, friends, family, everybody. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm just scrolling up. Jennifer, okay, we saw that one about your son's account, but we still see you, Jennifer, um, and Nancy, Linda, Lisa Marie, loving the colors. Thank you, Lisa Marie. Me too. So pretty. Uh, Jennifer, sorry I thought it was on my son's. <laughs> Glad I'm not. <laughs> Probably so he is. Oh, you're funny. You sound like me, Jennifer. Um, oh, I love the peach. Feels like Louisiana sunset. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Even though I've never been to Louisiana, but I've seen pictures and it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to move back to my reference photo. Move back to my reference photo. And you guys, I'm a rock singer. I had band practice last night. This old lady still sings in a rock band. We had a darn good time. But for some reason, when I paint, I kind of break out with like musical songs. And I mean, I make them up. I don't really know what I'm saying. But um, it's just kind of weird because I'm, I'm not in a musical. But... <laughs> That's just what happens when I'm painting. All right, guys, we want to mix up an, um, an orangey. So we need some more red. We need to mix that with our yellow. Pull that in there. 
It's okay if a little white gets in there. You can make it like a dark peach color um, or you can just make it straight orange. Doesn't matter. Either is going to look really good. Um, I am using my round brush right now. Using my round brush. You can most certainly just use a flat brush, which, you know, maybe I should have used. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to grab a little more medium. I'm almost out of that. So either grab a round brush or grab um, grab a smaller flat or the round, okay? And mix up a deeper color than you have going on here. And we are going to make some distant... Uh, we are going to make some distant mountains. Watch this. It is going to be super fun and cool. Okay. So all we're going to do is go across the whole bottom here with our brush and make different mountain heights. So we do different peaks. We want some taller. We want some smaller. These are probably more just like hills. But we just kind of want to drag that brush across and make different, make some longer, make some shorter, just mix it all up. We don't want all of the hills to look exactly the same. And then you just fill it in. You don't have to go all the way down the bottom because we're going to be putting some black, believe it or not, down there. But uh, just get that, get that, uh... Get those hills going and then just fill the rest in with some color. Some color, color. I've got something stuck on there that happens a lot with acrylics. Now, while it's wet, I'll show it, show you another little um, trick. Dip it in some white and then go from the bottom up and just kind of I'm um, um, going back and forth with the round brush like this. From the bottom, just bringing it up, and then it's going to make those hills look misty. All right, we don't want to ruin the color that we just put on the top. You start from the bottom with the white and just back and forth quickly. We want to just pull that brush back and forth, and it will start looking like mist is right below those hills. All right. I'm going to put my brush in my water, hold this up so that you can see a little bit closer what I did, and then I'm going to go see what you're saying. You know, you guys could even put puffy clouds through here. Oh, you don't have to put any clouds. You can make your sky one color or multiple colors. It doesn't matter, right? Just get creative. It's okay. You most certainly can paint it just like I'm doing, or you can just put your own twist or your own favorite colors in. That's totally fine. Totally fine. What I love about painting nature is, you know, it's okay if you have one hill higher than the other. That's just the way it is, right? That's what happens. Same with the trees. When we paint the trees, no right or wrong there. You can make them big, small, thick, thin, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, let me get back to you and see what you're saying. <laughs> bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Linda says, I love the colors too. Oh, thank you, Linda. Me too. They're really pretty. I love that peach color. Peach is like one of my favorite colors. Lisa Marie, age is just a number. Thanks for saying that, Lisa. Tell my body that too, will you? I love that you still rock. Oh, thank you. <laughs> me too. I had a good time. It was quite a workout. Um, Makes me think of Mexico, the colors, Linda says. Yes, it does. And did you see that we did, well, did you see the camel painting that we did? Marcy was on that day and everybody was just giving me ideas. Oh, paint this, paint that. And we created this cool little painting with a camel. Um, pretty, Linda says, looking good, Marcy says. Oh, awesome. Marcy, I can't wait to see yours too. And hey, you're a creative warrior. So you, all of you creative warriors... You can put your paintings, like, if you want me to see them in your peers, just right inside Creative Warriors. You don't have to put them in Creative Dreams, but hopefully our Creative Dreams people will, you know, they will move over to Creative Warriors when they're ready. And then you can all share them right in there. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we are going to, we are going to now um, work on, do, 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 let me, let me look and think for a second what I want to do first. Give me a moment. 
moment. Okay, we are going to work on some background trees. And I'm going to use that same color that I just made for the top of the hills. So an orange, you can put a tiny bit of white in it if you want. If you want to make yours like that peach or you can keep them orange. Either way does not matter. You can even mix it up and make some orange and some peach. I'm using my round brush still. You can use your um, three fourths inch flat if you want or your round brush. I'm going to just try it with my round brush and see what happens. So I'm just dragging and twirling, dragging and twirling my round brush to fill it up with that color. Now I'm just going to hold my multimedia paper, my surface like this, because I'm showing you. But if you are painting at home, you most certainly can turn this. You can turn it upside down. You can turn it sideways any way you want to get those trees in there um, if it's easier for you. But all we're going to do is make numerous trees starting from down here and pulling them right up into the top. So just pull. We want to pull, pull, pull. Okay, I am noticing I'm going to need some white in there or it's not going to cover over my blue and it's going to look transparent. So we're going to have to pick up some white because white will help that just like that. Okay, so we don't want it to be see-through. If it is uh, too transparent, you can wait till that layer dries and then you can put another layer on. That's totally fine. And that's what you can do with acrylics. So be lighter with some, like on your pressure, I mean. Some push harder in some trees, be lighter. That way you can make um, different thicknesses. At the bottom, you always want to push a little bit harder, though, and then lift up because the base of the tree obviously needs to be thicker Otherwise, this tree really could not grow if it was thicker on the top because that's not how trees, trees grow. So these are kind of like just skinny little trees in through here. You can make some skinny ones like me or you can make some thicker ones. Um, it doesn't matter. You just, you just go for it and you put your trees in anywhere that you would like. And uh, yeah, if you want yours to bend a different way, go for it. You can copy me exact or you can put them different ways. It doesn't matter. It's your beautiful world of creations. Okay. So once again, I'm using a round brush. I'm using red, yellow, and some white. So we have a peach color here. I was, excuse me, I was going to just do um, straight orange, but because of... The dark blues, I had to put a little bit of white in there just to make it cover a little bit more. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see on this one, but it's a little bit too opaque. So I'm probably going to have to go over this area where the blue is once that dries a little bit. But that's okay. That's an easy fix and the acrylic dries fast. Plus, if you um, want... You can have your blow dryer handy. I do have mine right here on the floor next to me. I might actually grab that if it doesn't dry fast enough so that I can put another layer on there so it won't be transparent. But we right now we are painting Mystic Woods, one of my designs I sold uh, to one of my art collectors. If you guys are just seeing me for the first time, my name is Amy from Amy Parker Art. Um, I teach artists how to gain collectors online like I have done and um, show you how to make money with uh, auctions, shows, and parties so that you can get your own collectors and, you know, make a living or a side hustle with your creative things that you love to create, like paintings. Um, so anyway... That's what I do, and we do all kinds of fun, creative things, uh, which you are witnessing right now. We do paint night um, right here on the page, Amy Parker Art, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. EST. So go ahead and 
touch this video, click the bell, and that way you will know when I go live so you can join in the fun. All right, you guys, I am going to just twirl this round brush around on my paper towel over here on the side. <clears throat> Dip it in my water, push that back and forth at the bottom of the jar, and then pull straight back on my paper towel like this and turn. That's how I dry that. Now, I am going to, oops, see, I just got a dab of water on there. If you do that, you can take a paper towel and just dab it on your canvas or your multimedia paper that I'm using. I'm switching brushes. I'm going to see what this does. So I'm using a three-fourths inch uh, flat angled brush right now. I just used the round brush to make those trees, but now I'm going to, I'm uh, mixing up to, uh, mixing up some paint in here with red, yellow, and white. And I'm going to, going to, um, use the chiseled edge of this and drag it up to make some different uh, trees here. Okay, this is very good to make skinnier pieces. So yeah, you can use these two different types of brushes. Use just the chiseled edge of a flat brush like I'm doing and you will get skinnier trees. Remember, the harder you push, the wider it's going to be. We do want it wider at the bottom and skinnier at the top, but there's not really a whole lot of differentiating that in these trees right now because I'm just making little tiny little skinny like pole trees kind of. All right, that's probably good. It's probably good. Now I'm going to make some branches. So very easy to make branches. I am just scraping the paint off of each side of my brush and picking that back up so I can get some paint right on the end of that flat brush. And now I'm just going to touch down using the chiseled edge and drag up. You can make these branches anywhere you want. Make some cross over the trees. If you make some cross over, that really is spectacular because it looks really cool. Like, you know, how a tree would naturally grow. All right, I need to mix up some more. So if you miss the, mi the mix up of colors, I've got some red, got some yellow, and I'm putting the red into the yellow. We always want to put the dark into the light. Grabbing a little bit of white, mixing that up good. And then I'm just picking that color up right on the edge of my brush. And we are just going through here and we are making some branches. So I am actually using the very tip of my brush to kind of drag some around. And you know, the more and more you try this, the uh, more you'll discover on, you know, what you like and what cool things you can create. Now we're making these trees go right off the canvas or, you know, your, if you're using multimedia paper, right off the multimedia paper which is pretty neat because it makes our painting, well, it makes our painting look pretty cool. You know, like we're underneath, like we're inside of the woods. You can just put these branches anywhere you want. I would just suggest you cross some over the other, like so. Now you can even get more detailed and use the detailed brush and put little tiny branches in here if you want. That's totally fine too. Always take a step back and look like, hey, do I like my painting? Do I need something else here or there? Well, this tree, you know, maybe it doesn't have any branches, but I want to put one in here. So I'm going to, I'm just looking at it like, oh, it needs a branch to me. Um, and your painting may or may not. It just, Go ahead and take a look and see what looks good. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to wipe the paint off of that brush and wash it. I always wipe it on the paper towel first and then wash the brush so that my water doesn't get really disgusting. 
and I'm going to go, I'm going to, well, first I'm going to blow my nose, take a drink of water, look at your comments, and then we're going to start on some leaves up here. Then we're going to put another layer of trees over here with black, and it's going to look so cool. You're going to be amazed, seriously, at what you can do. So let me switch over to see what you are saying. Make sure we are still focused. Sometimes it goes in and out of focus because that's just what happens. And if so, I apologize. Hopefully it wasn't like that for too long. Hope not. I hope not. Um, let me see. The camel painting was awesome, Marcy says. Uh, uh, Lily, you can see this video again even after finishing painting or not. Yes, you most certainly can, Lily. Yes, you can. No problem. Uh, very pretty colors coming out striking. Thank you, Linda. Yes, yeah, so Lily, um, I'm, I keep the recordings right here on my page, Amy Parker Art, but you are welcome to, um, click on the link I put there for Creative Dreams. It's, it's, I pinned it in the comments. It is my free group and I do put my recordings in that group as well so that you can go back and pause and paint at your leisure. Excuse me while I blow my nose for a second. <clears throat> How we doing? You guys having fun? Having a good time? Hanging net with me? Lily, you are very welcome, honey. No problem. And um, if you guys want to know what's coming up for paintings, you just go check the events here on the page and then you will see what we have coming up. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of my water. Cheers, people. Cheers with your black coffee, your water, your wine, whatever else anybody else is drinking. Okay, we're having fun. We're having fun. And we are going to be... Um, we're going to be painting some uh, leaves up here in the trees. What inspired this particular painting, Lisa Marie says. Lisa Marie, I don't really know. I, I painted it a couple of years ago, literally just out of my imagination, which I usually don't. I usually look at something. Um, but I, I was on the porch painting, and uh, I just created it. It came out pretty cool, and then one of my collectors bought it. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. I, I just... I guess I was just inspired by just sitting on the porch and listening to the birds. And we get a lot of birds around here. I love them. All right, you guys ready? We are going to mix up some color for our the tops of our trees here, okay? All right, let me inspect what I've got going on. Ew, we actually do have... We actually do have a little bit of that, don't we? Okay, see, I talked to myself too. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna mix up a green. Where if you you can mix your own green, or if you have green, that's great. If you don't have green, I'll tell you. Believe it or not, all you have to do is uh, take a dab of black. Stick it in your yellow and mix it around. If you don't believe me, try it. And it's going to turn like a cool looking green color. Sort of like a muted green color. But um, then, then you can add, if you want it even more vibrant, you can add a dab of blue into it and it will make it more vibrant. Okay, so... Ba, 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 I'm singing and I'm looking at my leaves and I'm trying to figure out my color. Um, I'm, I'm try, I mean, I did this over a year ago, so I'm trying to remember what I used. I mean, I can use any colors, but I'm trying to get it close. I think that might be a little too bright. Let me try. Let me just mix something here. Don't do this yet. Let me just try and get... Let me just see what color I like best, and then I'll tell you how to mix it. Unless you already have green, that's fine. You go ahead and put some green on. Um, but I'm trying to get like a specific color green, and I think I I think I actually might have to put a little brown in it. Believe it or not, let me try this. 
Oh yeah, that's what I did. So grab a little brown if you have it and mix it with your green. So a little brown and green. I think a dab of yellow is gonna look cool as well. Yeah, dab of yellow. All right, so I just grabbed some nutmeg brown and Christmas green, believe it or not, and mixed those two together with a dab of yellow. Oh, I forgot to tell you, sorry, I'm using a bristle brush now. A bristle brush, okay? So those bristles um, are kind of spread apart at the bottom, at the, well, the top of the brush. So we don't want this like super, super full of paint. So once you load it up, touch it onto your paper towel so that it kind of is like spread apart a little bit. And then you just touch the end in your paint like that. Now all we're going to do is touch down and dab. But when we touch down, we're going to move our brush different ways, like turning it different. We don't want to be the exact same. We want to move it around as well as move our hand around, move your wrist around and move your hand. That is going to make um, this look sort of cool, like a jungle in here. So we want to, we want to clump some together. We want to leave some um, open spaces so that we can see some of those uh, leaves that we put on there. I always try and darken the sides a little bit more. Uh, the corners, I mean, a little bit more just because it makes your painting um, just look look better, I think. It just kind of, oh, wait, we didn't want black. What am I doing? I'm doing green, brown with a dab of yellow. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm dabbing on my paper towel, trying to open those bristles up like that. Um, I don't know, you guys, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, on the edges, I always try to, um, I always try to make the edges of my paintings a little bit darker. You don't have to, but it brings the eye into your beautiful piece of work that you did. The darker kind of brings it in like that. Um, you know, not every single painting, right? And this is all your artwork, so you do what you would like. Now, can you see I put some spots that are a little bit thicker, some that are, you can see through a little bit, some that come down a little more. We just don't want it all to look the same, okay? We want to just mix it up a little bit in there with that uh, bristle brush. Now, we are going to... We are going to put some highlight colors on this. I'm just going to rub like in a circle on my um, paper towel, the brush, and then I'm going to pick up some white. So I have a little bit of white in here, dab of yellow. And so can you see we made that bright, brighter color? Now I'm just going to go in through here. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of this brighter color in here, just like for a little highlight. We don't want to go too crazy, but, you know, put a little bit of a lighter, lighter color in there. And let me show you what happened with that. So it just gives the, um, the leaves a little, a little more dimension. Now we're even going to go more crazy. <laughs> I'm going to wash that bristle brush off or gr just grab a different one. I need a new paper towel. Yeah, let me turn this around or something. Let me turn that around. All right, so wash off your bristle brush. And we are going to make um, like a reddish brown kind of color, believe it or not like a reddish brown kind of color. All right, what one do I want to use? I'm trying to just decide if I want to use this one. Hold on, let me experiment again for a moment and see what color I like better before I tell you to mix it up. Just one second here. 
Let me see what will look good. I like that or rustic. Actually, that does look pretty good. All right, so I'm just going to use a darker brown. This is a burnt, um, uh, is it a burnt umber? Yeah, burnt umber. Uh, but any, you know, brown will do, really. We're just playing around here. So I'm going to grab some more red. I know my palette looks like a mess because basically it is. Oops, I have a goober in here. Hold on, I got to pull this goober out so that... Hopefully I don't ruin my, you know what I've done before? I've squeezed these bottles when they've gone clogged in ruined painting. So you shouldn't do this by your painting or just take the cap off and dig the goober out. You know what I mean? Acrylic paints, they just get like clogged up and yeah, sometimes they're hard to come out. It's pretty cool for, uh, abstracts you know I let the goobers stay in there for an abstract painting but not for this and I literally you guys if I turned the camera you would be laughing at me I have a huge look at this bloody mess here <laughs> like literally literally I gotta just wash this give me one second otherwise I'm gonna have red stained hands for a while Okay, now if I can just remember what I told you guys, you might have to, you might have to refresh my memory. But yeah, I know I've got obviously heavy pour, right? Because I had a goober and I squeezed it and a bunch came out. But I've got some burnt umber and I'm going to dip into my red, my burnt umber, like that. And I'm going to dab into my yellow. I think that's what I did. Dab into my yellow. Yes. All right. Now I'm just going to put a couple bunches of like these different color leaves in here. We don't want to go too crazy. We just, we just kind of want it to like peek through a little bit, but you don't want to hide all of that um, background that you have either like you want to see like some of that sky peeking through so you know if you see a piece that you did and you're like oh my god I love that then don't cover it up if you see a piece you don't like then cover it up all right so I'm just like yeah I'm just putting some different like colors of leaves in here different ways remember we don't want them to all look the same we want to mix it up a little bit so I didn't go too crazy I just put in some some of that, that cool color, whatever we mixed up. It's just <laughs> my own creation of a color. All right, now I'm going to rinse that off. We're still going to use our bristle. I'm going to rinse that, and then we are going to grab a little bit of... We're going to grab a little bit of... Um, like an orangey or peachy kind of color again, okay? Your choice, painter's choice, orangey or peachy. With a dab of white, you want, definitely want a dab of white in there because we want this to stand out. I'm going to just kind of touch this and kind of put a little bit of this. Oh, it's pretty. I really like that color. So red a little bit of yellow and um red yellow what did we do what did we do red yellow and a little bit of white yeah definitely put a little bit of white because that's going to make it um stand out so yeah having a little bit of that color right on the bottom of the leaves and maybe a, a little bit in through the leaves here and there is going to give that illusion of all this beautiful light color shining up into your trees. Okay. Just like that. Let me show you. And I know it's really not a fall painting. I used a little bit of fall colors, but it's like a, 
it to me it looks like a summery kind of painting. But uh okay, we are going to put the black on here and you're going to be like, "Oh my god, it looks so cool because the black it really is just going to make a gorgeous silhouette on this entire painting." All right, so we are going to make trees again, just like we did here. You are welcome to use your round brush or your flat angled brush. We are going to make trees with black. Yep, that's what I said. And here's a little, little tip from me. Put a little bit of dark blue into your black and... Um, you know, you're mostly just going to see the black, but it really looks looks cool. It makes the painting look cool. So, uh, oh, I got a big, uh, I got a lot of goobers in here tonight. I need some more black. So, yeah, just put a little bit of, like, dark blue into your black. If you don't, or you can always put, like, a red or, like, some deep color. I would use red or blue. And um, then we're just going to roll that round brush like, I'm going to use the round brush and the flat brush, just like what I did before. And we're just going to drag up different trees. We don't want to cover all these up unless you did one that you're like, ooh, I hate that. If you did, then go ahead and cover it. And we are just going to make some trees in through here. And if the painting, if the paint, you don't have enough paint, just keep picking it up and dragging it up. Now, this is wet on wet up here which I'm very used to doing because I've been painting forever. But if you are afraid to, to paint wet on wet because it will drag your, your colors around a little bit, then just go ahead and hit it with the blow dryer and the acrylics are going to dry super fast. And then you can, then you can uh, just paint away like I'm doing. And I'm just picking up black with a little bit of blue. I am not making these all super straight. These are trees. We're going to put them any, any which way we want. Um, and I am going to uh, drag one skinnier one in through like this. Now, uh, I'm making it skinnier by just not pressing down as hard with the brush. Just don't press down as hard. Down here, we want a little bit thicker. So press down a little harder than lift up. But that's how we get the different uh, thicknesses of the trees, okay? I'm going to do another one here. We want these to just cross over, lean different ways. That's what makes, it's going to make our painting look interesting, right? Instead of, we don't want it to be boring. We want to have like some cool different... Um, elements to look at when we look at this painting. But do you see how much that black is just really standing out on the multimedia paper? Maybe you're painting on canvas and that's totally fine. I'm gonna push down harder and then I'm gonna lift up. And the multimedia paper, I usually have to use quite a bit of medium and paint because it does suck it up quite a bit as opposed to a canvas canvas you have a little bit more leeway like a it's a little more forgiving um but hey the multimedia paper i i like because um i can't even remember how many sheets do i get with that 24 sheets for like 12 dollars. i mean come on that's a pretty good deal and i mean i have so many um I'm going to make a thicker one here. I have so many canvases that, and I paint a lot and I paint fast, so I need room in my studio. So that's why I like to use the multimedia paper to do my tutorials for you guys and also to make little mini paintings. Sometimes I cut these up into like three by fives or five by sevens and they even look good like in glass frames. So I'll go to like <clears throat> different like thrift stores or whatever and get like gla glass frames that I like and kind of pull them apart and you know sometimes paint them up like I just at the art and craft show that my business just hosted I sold I actually sold one of those in there it was a um the fish house I called it 
beautiful like nautical painting. It was just a mini one. I think it was like a three by five. And I put it in one of those frames. It looked pretty cool. And someone just fell in love with it. So I shipped that out to her and she just loves it. So, and so don't I. I actually have a, I actually have a larger piece of the same painting because, well, just like this Mystic Woods, I do paint, I do paint a lot of my paintings over again. Okay, now I'm going to just bring, I'm using my, um, I'm using my three-fourths inch flat angled brush right now to kind of drag out some branches. And you want to make them go right off of the canvas or right off, um, you know, the surface you're painting on. I've been doing a lot of painting. I've been painting on slate too. I found some slate in my basement um, that someone had given me years ago. And they're coming out pretty cool. If I remember, I'll show you after how they're coming out. But just keep looking at your painting. It You don't have to put a branch every place I'm putting one. You just look at your painting and decide where you want your branches. I'm I'm dragging these from the center. I mean, from the uh, from the uh, tree here. That needs to be a little thicker. There we go. See, that's how you fix that. If it wasn't thick enough, I'm just dragging them from the tree out and making those branches and cross some over the others. Cross some over the others. Like so. And just figure out what looks good to you. I'm going a little bit slower as I'm dragging up the branches. But whatever works. Okay. Um. Well, see, now I'm looking and I want to pull one right off the right off the canvas that way. Okay, how we doing? You doing good? Having a good time? Having fun? I'm gonna pull, make that one a little bit thicker there. So now I'm just looking at my tree. It's like, do I need any thicker, thinner, whatever? Okay, so I'm gonna rinse this uh, three quarter inch brush off. Rinsing that brush off. I apologize, I can't see comments yet, but I'm going to look in a moment because <clears throat> we're almost done and then we'll have like a little chat there before I say goodbye. So just rinse that brush off, okay? You can use your round brush like we did to do the, um, the peach orange color in the background, or I'll show you how you can just do it as well, just with your black and picking up a little bit of blue like we used for the tree. Dip in your medium or just water. That's fine. And underneath here, remember how we made that mist in there? We want to let some of the mist show through in different spots. But we're just dragging our... We're just dragging our... Um, our angled brush in different heights, right? Different heights just like we did with the the orange part. And then you just go ahead and fill that right in with the black and dark blue. You don't have to use dark blue or red in your in your black. I I just use it because it uh to me looks a little better, but you know, that's just me. So now we're covering the base of all of these trees with our black. You could use the wide brush here. You don't have to use the small one if you don't want to fill it in. You could use the wide one. That would save a little time, uh, but it's up to you. Painting is relaxing, or at least it should be. No beating yourself up, right? If it doesn't come out how you want it, just know. Um, not every piece is going to be a masterpiece, but you will 
get there and create beautiful, gorgeous things. All right. Now, I'm wiping back and forth on my paper towel like this with my, uh, my, um, hello, what am I trying to say here? With my, I, I don't know. I, I had a brain cramp. Just forgive me for a second. All right. Do not do this yet. Let me test something. <laughs> Look, but don't do it. Let me test something and see if I can get a, an effect with this. Yes, I can. Okay. So <clears throat> you take your one inch flat or if you have a smaller flat, that's fine. Dip it in the water, wipe it like back and forth on the paper towel. It should not be dripping. Dip just the, the, the top and the back tip into your black. All right. Maybe a tiny bit of medium, tiny bit of water. Then we're going to touch down on our hill and just flick, flick it like that. Touch down and just flick. And what this is doing is it's creating some little pieces of <clears throat> like grass or brush in there. Let me show you what just happened. See if you can see that by just flicking that upright with like a dry flat brush. If you have a, um, if you have a fan brush, you can do that with a fan brush as well. Like a fan brush would work good for that. You can just touch down and pull up, but I just showed you how to do it with a good old flat brush. Okay. We are going to put, we're pulling into the home stretch here. <clears throat> Wait, let me check your comments and make sure that I didn't miss anything. If you need me at this moment, let me just see what you're saying. Then we are going to do our finishing touch on here, which are going to be two little tiny brand baby trees. And they're going to look so cool. It really makes the painting. So let me get back here and see what you're saying. Oh my gosh, my goodness. Patricia. Where in New Hampshire are you, Amy? I am in Laconia, New Hampshire. Are you in New Hampshire as well? I would love to know for neighbors. Uh, Linda says, nice. Thank you, Linda. You said brown and red. Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me because sometimes I forget what I say. <laughs> Good thing there's replay. <laughs> Linda says, very peaceful looking. Thank you, Linda. I love it, Amy. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, now <clears throat> I'm gonna not look at the comments for a second. I'm gonna go back to my uh, reference photo so that we can finish this up. Then I'm gonna go back and see what you're saying. Okay, so I'm gonna take my detailed brush. You can do this with a script liner as well. Where is my script liner? My good one. Okay. A uh, script liner just has like a longer bristle on it. So you can use either or your detailed or your script liner. You want this to be pretty wet with water. I wouldn't use medium for this because we want it to flow pretty well. So get out of there, you goober. See what happens. I just move that away and you can see like what a big mess I make on my palette. Okay, so we want to keep dipping in the water and moving that around in our paint because literally we want it to be almost like ink consistency, right? So drag it and pull, drag it and pull, drag it and pull. All right, we are going to make um, two little baby trees, just like we did the big trees, but we're using the tiny brush and we're going to make baby trees. As the tree gets taller, we want to thin it out. Just like the branches, where they come out from the tree thicker in that area, and then thin them out. And 
make some of the branches cross over the other branches. I mean, you can go crazy. You can put as many branches on as you want. But I want to keep mine, mine kind of simple. And look, maybe a deer or something stepped on it right there when it was growing. You never know. If your brush starts like splitting apart and you like, I don't even know if you can see this. This is a good little lesson though, if I can show you. On this branch right here, if it's if you can see there's like two little hairs that go different ways. That's because my my um detail brush started like splitting apart a little bit. So that means I just have to dip it in the water and then roll it back and forth to kind of pull it back together to get a point on the end. Remember, we're dragging in black with a tiny bit of blue, and we want it to be really um, thin, like ink almost, so that that fine tip on your brush will be able to flow easier. So yeah, you just look at your painting and decide what looks good. What do you want to not paint over because it looks good? If you look at your painting and say, ooh, I don't like that spot, paint over it with another color or another tree. Um, that's how you can create paintings that you totally love, right? That's how, that's how us artists fix our mistakes. We just make it look like it, it was supposed to be there. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use I'm gonna rinse off my detailed brush. I'm gonna pick a light color. Never ever, never, people, listen. Even if you think, oh, I'm not an artist. Yes, you are. If you are painting with me, you are an artist, right? So never forget to sign your painting. Decide what color you want to use. I'm using the round the uh tiny detailed brush. Doing the same thing as I did with the tree. Just instead of in the black, I'm dragging in the pink. I'm going to use pink. And I'm going to sign my painting. Do, 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 do. And what else am I going to do? Anybody know? Yes, I'm going to date it. Always put the year because when you paint tons and tons of paintings like I do, um, you're going to look back or your collectors will look back and be like, oh my gosh, you painted this in 2021. Can you believe it? And guess what happens with art, right? It kind of goes up and up and up in value. So that is this beautiful rendition of Mystic Woods. Uh, I, I hope that you, you know, had fun painting along here. Um, let me know if you want to see my face. If you don't, that's okay. I wouldn't either. I mean, I, I, I'm tired. I didn't even take a shower yet. I had band practice last night. <laughs> but if you want to see me, I'll turn around. I'm going to just wash my hands and uh, check your comments. I might as well grab my brushes too. You guys want to make sure that you wash your brushes right after.
Okay. Then lay your brushes out on a paper towel. That's the easiest way for them to dry. All right, let me see what you're saying. Let me see, let me see. Let me see, do, do, do. Patricia, my daughter lives in Guilford. No way! I wonder if I know your daughter, Patricia, or I wonder if my daughters know your daughter. I have two daughters. That's amazing. So cool. Casey, Angel, Casey are from Barnstead, New Hampshire. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are very close, all of us. That is so cool to know. Wowza. Hey, I'm glad I have you here. Um, Linda, beautiful Susan. Yeah, let's see you. Okay, I hope I don't scare you, Susan, before you have to go to bed. Um, Debbie, beautiful. Thank you so much, Debbie. Kimberly was so much fun. Awesome. I'm glad you had so much fun. Okay, you're welcome, Linda. Yeah, all right. Let me flip around and um, hopefully, hopefully not scare everybody. Literally, look at me, you guys. I look like, ah, <laughs> kind of ragged. But um, yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry I'm like so low here on the on the uh, camera, but let me show you, and I'm kind of sideways, don't worry, I'll have my, I'll have it together next time I'm on, right, I mean, I still did, we had the camera pointed down, everybody could see really good, and we had a good time, don't forget, I have pinned right here, um, Creative Dreams, if you are not in Creative Dreams, why not, it's my free group I have for you, right, so you can share your paintings with me, and everybody else that hangs out and does paint night, um, I would love that. I would love for you to be a part of that. Debbie's a part of that. And your flowers came out great, Debbie. Awesome. Um, let's see, Marcy. Very nice as always. You're being kind because I know I look... Well, whatever. Who cares, right? I'm busy creating. Uh, Deb, beautiful. Thank you. You are welcome, Deb. Thank you, honey, for being here. Uh, you look lovely and natural. Good. I'm glad I have the natural look going on. That's that's cool. Um, let me show you uh, what I've been painting on some slate. Let me let me give you a little peek of that. This one is actually the sides kind of broken off the slate here a little bit. <clears throat> but I this is my second one that I did. I was just painting on some slate that I found in my basement um, yesterday. And I figured I would whip some of these up and just, um, you know, I'm probably not going to put these on my collector's group because I, I put, you know, acrylic paintings on canvas in there. But I'll probably put these on the marketplace or something like that. Or if you're one of my collectors and you're watching and you want it, let me know. So, um, yeah. So I'm doing that. This one, this one actually is a, a nice, these slates are huge. Oops, ups, upside down. Slates are huge, but... Um, there's some more, um, what do they call them? Hydrangeas. Yeah, I just love the colors. And then on this side, I just started painting this before I hopped on for paint night with you guys. I'm going to put, tell me what, what color flowers do you think I should put in here? I was, I just put some greenery in here and a little bit of these white, I don't know what they are, but little like beautiful white flowers. But I, I'm thinking maybe white and yellow or something like I want it to pop out and I want it to be for like spring and summer so that if somebody purchases this, they can have two choices. Right. And I'm probably going to write welcome. Well, somebody wants me to customize it. I can put their name or like my daughter said, like a house number or something right here. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, so I've been doing uh, some little some slate stuff and having fun with that. And um Finish, that's in between finishing up my orders because I have a ton of orders right now. And no, you guys, I can't, I can't take any more orders on right now. <laughs> I can't. I wish I was more than one person, but I'm not. Um, because I'm helping my creative warriors a lot. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Patricia, very nice slate. I know. The slate's amazing. Is I measured it the other day. It's, um... Uh, 18 inches tall. I mean, it's super heavy. Well, 
I used to own a hair salon years ago. One of my customers was a roofer and he did a slate roof and he literally brought me like a stack of slates and I whipped a bunch of those out and sold them in the salon. And then I just found, I don't know, probably 20 more in my basement. I'm like, oh my God, I can paint on these too. Kimberly says, beautiful. Thank you, Kimberly. Appreciate that. Um, Casey says, morning glories. Yes, morning glories would look awesome. And I, I have some morning glories at my, well, they're not out right now, but do you have those as well, Casey? Like, what colors do you have? Mine are like a, um, like a deep purple looking, they're, they're so gorgeous. I love how they look like little horns or something, like when they open up, like that, you can do, 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 <laughs> like toot through, <laughs> I don't know. But the morning glories are gorgeous. Um, Susan, awesomeness. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. Uh, Patricia, white flowers would look great. Yes, I think so too. I think those would pop. Um, and then morning glories do come in different colors. So maybe I could throw a couple of those in, a couple of white. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys are on here because it's great to have all of these creative people to brainstorm with, right? Uh, Linda, good for you. Thank you, Linda. Uh, daisies. I was thinking of daisies too, Deb. Oh my gosh, yes. That's a great idea. And daisies as well. They come in like different colors too. Like I could paint yellow or white daisies or, you know, get kind of creative. Uh, Patricia, I have slate to repaint. Is, uh, is it just acrylics I should use? That's what I am using on mine, Patricia. I am using my acrylics. Um, I did use for the um, the pink and purple hydrangeas, I did actually use these tube paints, uh, just the basics. I used a, um, a, uh, a, a magenta in like a violet um, tube paint. But I also mix some of, my, some of my craft paint with it. Like I use a white craft paint with this. So yes, I would say so. Um, if you're new to painting on slate, I would say wash it down really good first. Because you don't want any like little dirt, little debris, little crumbs of anything in there. Because then it's going to rub off, which would rub your paint off. So what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to take photos and then... Put them out there, see if anybody wants them. And I'll give like a certain amount of time that I will customize it to put their house number or welcome or whatever. But then, Patricia, after I am done customizing it, then I'm obviously going to let it dry for like a day, make sure it's good and dry. Then I'm going to varnish it. I will put a varnish on it. Um, but, you know, when I do... I mostly paint on acrylics, you guys. Uh, I mean, on a canvas, like the ones behind me, 16 by 20. That's the size I'm known for in for my collectors. Um, but I do paint on multi-surfaces as well. But canvas is my number one. But so with like a porch leaner, like a board or the slate or whatever, I always put a varnish on it. But I just use my varnish that I use for my regular canvases. And then I tell them, you know, I can't guarantee if you have it out in, in the sun, in the rain, and everything's beating down on it, how long it will last. But seriously, I've never had any complaints. And, um, you know, I put my porch, porch leaners out right in the bad weather, and they, they held up for a while. But uh, I would definitely tell them, oh, put it, like, under something, but, you know, and that way you won't have to stress about it. But, um, yeah, that's what I do. I just... That's what I'm using, just acrylics, and then I'm going to just varnish it with, like, a Liquitex varnish. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, if you guys have any more questions, shoot away. If not, I am going to go and uh, see Tim, see my hobby wubby. I think he started a fire out there, so I'm going to go sit with him for a moment, relax, and... Um, yeah, get ready for my day tomorrow to do all kinds of cool stuff, uh, cool paintings and creating. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Had a good time. 
Marcy, you have a good night as well, honey. Um, Linda, good night to you too. Mwah. You guys are awesome. Don't forget, go ahead and click on uh, Creative Dreams if you're not in there. If you are a creative warrior, do not worry about getting into Creative Dreams. Creative Dreams is just a free group that I have for everyone to share their paintings from Paint Night um, or paintings in general if you want to just show them and enjoy with Tim. Thank you, Marcy. Yes, I will. And um, yeah, I have exciting news about Creative Warriors, so I'll tell you guys all about that soon. Uh, Patricia, thanks, Amy. You are welcome, Patricia. You are welcome very much. And I hope you all join me next week. Next week we are doing... Uh, I can't remember. I can remember the painting, what it looks like, but I can't remember what I named it. I think it's Reflections, something. Something Reflections, maybe Summer Reflections. I don't know. Just go look on the... Um, events and you can see what one we're painting uh next week but there we go i hope that your mystic woods came out nice and i hope that you had a fun time painting and i will see you guys well i'll see you before next week but if you want to do the paint night again remember every tuesday 7 p.m est i'll be here Mwah! have a good night you guys bye bye